back here at Tavern United downtown M Dell MTS Place. Joining me now, Maggie Yestrow from Manitoba Girls Football Association, the commish, if you will, president, our Presidente. Maggie, how are we doing this evening? Uh, we're doing pretty good this evening. How about you? Fabulous. So we're going to talk some girls football here. I love watching girls football because it's exciting, it's fast, and it's still very uh, tenacious. Mm -hmm. like these girls mean business when they're on the field. Absolutely. So real quick, we've got a couple of championship games happening at IG Field this weekend. This week, correct? Yeah, on Wednesday. So Wednesday they get to play at IG Field. Let's talk about the junior game real quick. It's the Eagles versus the Mustangs, both teams from Winnipeg. Yeah, they sure are, and the Eagles are the defending champs from last year. So, you think they're going to repeat? I'm not sure. Uh, both teams have been playing really well, so it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Very good. So we look for a competitive game. What time does that game start? It's at six. Six o'clock. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then we have the senior game shortly after, starting around seven thirty-ish. Mm -hmm. It'll be the Sunrise versus the Mustangs. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the division? Is it age division between juniors and seniors that it works? Yeah, it is a uh, age division. So um, the younger girls are in the junior. I can't give you exact ages right now. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, and then the older girls are up to seventeen. So. Okay, so exciting football at IG Field this Wednesday, uh -huh. Junior and Senior Championships. We also have another great, great event happening this weekend uh, for the Red River Cup. Uh -huh. We have uh, a Selection ID camp. Fill us in a little bit of what's going to happen at North Winnipeg Nomads uh, Football Complex. So this uh, Saturday and Sunday, we're having an ID camp, and it'll be for players between uh, born 2002 to 2005. And uh, what we're doing is we're putting on the first ever U18 girls tackle tournament. Uh, we have Saskatchewan coming in to play us, so we're going to do the ID camp, and then we're going to form two teams from there, and those two teams will play against each other as well as the two Saskatchewan teams. So from those four teams, will there be a champion, and does that champion move on to another tournament? There's not going to be another tournament. This is the first ever uh, of its kind for female tackle football. And uh, so we're hoping next year to uh, have more teams involved, more provinces involved, okay. and then keep growing it so maybe eventually we can get to a national uh, program for female tackle football players in the country. We're seeing more female players playing tackle football mm -hmm. across the country. Yeah. And we covered a lot here on ASTV with Saskatchewan, the Alberta and the Manitoba, the WWCFL. Do you see it being a progressive game where more players and more females are thinking, you know what, I can do this, I want to play this, and it's not about I want to be just like the guys, I want my own league? I, I think so. I mean, I started last year and I was 44, and I started just because I knew other people that played. And uh, a lot of us are reaching out to, you know, a lot of women play hockey and play baseball and so uh, rugby and they're reaching out to uh, their soccer playing friends. And, and so now it's more of a, a sport where we're getting more athletes involved and that's why it's getting a little more competitive. I know with my team in particular, um, I, I, I do see it growing. It's, it's, it's a really awesome sport to play and for women to have a chance to play now. I mean, we can play, you can play till you're 60 in the WWCFL so these girls at 17 don't have to stop they can just move up to the next level and start playing 12 person football absolutely so we touched base on the ID camp that's happening this weekend that's off of uh, Leela is that correct or what's location there it is right across from McPhillip Street Station okay. so you park around the back um, and then you just uh, walk in through the back of the clubhouse there and is it uh, registration prior to the ID camp Absolutely. So um, if anyone has any questions and they have to register definitely by, by this Friday, and it's only $20 to register for two days of football, um, you can email mbu18girls at gmail.com. Perfect. So that's a great way to get the information out to you. Mm -hmm. Two very filled days. I mean, we're not just talking about, you know, we're going through some tests, we're going through some games. Both yeah. days, Saturday and Sunday, correct? Yeah, there'll be install and then there'll be practices and there'll be, uh, it's going to be a, a full two days, definitely. For sure. Pretty exciting stuff there mm -hmm. in, uh, at the center. Under 18 national team, can we talk a little bit about that? I don't think there is one yet. but Okay, well, we're going to hope for that because this league, this division, this tournament should lead to something. That's what that's, that's what the, the goal is with the people that right. um, initiated this. Um, I'm just part of the planning committee, but um, the people that initiated this particular event between July 12th and 17th, that's the goal. Maybe we can get Alberta to join next sure, year. Okay. Um, 
Saskatoon is now starting a girls tackle program so that'll be another um, area to draw from and they, they could probably bring a couple of teams. Now so. are these these teams aren't affiliated with the WWCFL yet. No. Do you see any type of affiliation with it or is it something simply to be a youth high school junctured event to see and then maybe prosper them to, into professional female football later? I think it'll just be like each province has its own uh, girls league that, that you know, Alberta, uh, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. And then, uh, you know, just if it keeps growing, then we can, we can get, get it to a national level. So, Awesome. Well, I'm sorry to hear the season for yourself ended abruptly. You did have a very good short regular season. But nonetheless, this is a very exciting opportunity mm -hmm. come this weekend. And I want to thank you, Maggie, for bringing it to us. Maggie Yestro with the Manitoba Girls Football Association. We'll be right back with two individuals that just finished a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. We're heading over to Canada Quest later July and August. We'll be right back right after this.